Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of automotive engineering to explore the key differences between diesel engine and petrol engines. Car, trucks, bus and other automobiles run on engines based on fossil fuels. The two most common types of engine are petrol engine and diesel engine. Most of the vehicles run either on petrol engine or diesel engine. Let's understand the diesel and petrol engine. Introduction to petrol engine. Petrol engines are mostly used in cars, scooters, machines, etc. It is an internal combustion engine with spark ignition. It is also known as a gasoline engine. It was first invented in Europe, 1876. After this many improvisation have been done and the present model which people are using is the latest one. How does the petrol engine work? Working of petrol engine can be expressed by the following four steps shown in the image below. Intake stroke. Petrol and air are added to the cylinder and mixed. Compression stroke. The mixture of petrol and air is compressed by the use of a crankshaft. Power stroke. Now spark plug is used in the mixture and the mixture forces the piston down. Exhaust stroke. Gases go out from the exhaust valve. Introduction to diesel engine. Generally, trucks and other heavy vehicles run on diesel engines. It is also an internal combustion engine that works on diesel. It is also known as a compression ignition engine. It was first developed by Rudolf Diesel in 1893 in Germany. Diesel engines were mainly used in trains at that time. How does the diesel engine work? Working of diesel engine can be expressed by the following four steps shown in the image below. Intake stroke. Piston of the engine goes down and air comes into the cylinder. Compression stroke. Piston goes up and compresses the air. Now the air is getting hot. Power stroke. Now, fuel or diesel is added to the cylinder. Exhaust stroke. Fuel or diesel starts burning due to ignition temperature provided by hot air. Smoke goes out from the valve. Let's see the difference between petrol engine and diesel engine. In petrol engine, spark plugs ignite a mixture of petrol and air to create controlled explosions. In diesel engine, air is compressed until it heats up enough to ignite the diesel fuel without spark plugs. Petrol engines have lower compression ratios compared to diesel engines. Diesel engines have higher compression ratios, typically around 15 to 1 or higher. Generally, petrol engines produces low power compared to diesel engine. Diesel engine produces more power compared to petrol engine. Petrol engines generally offer less fuel efficient compared to diesel engines, especially in larger vehicles. Diesel engines typically offer better fuel economy, making them popular for long-distance driving and commercial vehicles. Petrol engines may provide better acceleration and responsiveness, ideal for sports cars. Diesel engine known for higher torque output at lower RPMs, ideal for towing and hauling. Petrol engines tend to produce more CO2 emissions compared to diesel engines per liter of fuel burned. Diesel engines often produce more particulate matter and nitrogen oxides, NOx, contributing to air pollution. Advanced catalytic converters and emission control systems help mitigate environmental impact. Modern diesel engines feature improved emissions control systems, including diesel particulate filters and selective catalytic reduction technology. Petrol engine idle for city driving due to their smoother operation and responsiveness. Diesel engine preferred for long-distance driving and heavy-duty applications due to their fuel efficiency and torque. Petrol engines commonly used in passenger cars and smaller vehicles. Diesel engines widely used in trucks, buses, and industrial equipment. Petrol engines work on the auto cycle. Diesel engines work on the diesel cycle. Petrol engine has comparatively low initial cost and maintenance cost. Diesel engine has high initial and maintenance costs. Diesel and petrol engines, 
While both have their advantages and disadvantages, understanding these nuances can help you make informed decisions when choosing your next vehicle. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on mechanical and automotive technology.